Welcome to the Sore Point Massage and Manual Therapies. The purpose of this video is to discuss positional release and how its role is used to help treat muscle guarding and muscle spasms. Typically when we assess a patient, we want to look for where their pain is coming from. So we look at all the different parts of the body by doing a postural evaluation, checking range of motion, doing any special tests, and then checking for tender points. One of the things with position and release is a passive as, as opposed to an active therapy. Passive meaning the patient is very relaxed and it's a very non-invasive type technique. Um, typically I use these techniques a lot with patients who are acutely injured after a car accident or a trauma. Um, they work great with neurological patients and we'll discuss the difference between treating orthopedically and neurologically. Um, but these techniques are very passive, so they're very well received by the body, especially patients who have fibromyalgia or patients who have been injured, like we said, in a car accident and coming in very acute and can't stand a lot of direct um, approaches in, in therapy. Uh, manual therapy tends to be more hands-on, and what we want to do is use our um, sense of touch to evaluate the patient. So when we're looking for tender points, we're evaluating the patient for areas of tenderness and basically when we, when we press, we want to basically use the pressure of what we use to kind of make your nail turn white. So not very much pressure, but we're looking for the areas that are more tender. Typically a tender point when we're assessing is about four times as tender as a normal point would be. And we use a scale of zero to ten, so there's always a communication with the patient. So and as we're evaluating, we're looking for that area of tenderness. And when we find it, what we're going to do is take the body into a position of comfort. So the patient is not active, they're very passive. So what we'll do is take the body part and bring both knees up. And what we're gonna do is bring the knees forward, we go into flexion. And again, what we're doing is the Goldilocks theory. Not too much, because if we go too far, we create tension. If I don't go far enough, we don't relax that muscle. So kind of halfway in between, we're looking for that area until it softens. And then what we're gonna do is hold that area for about 90 seconds. As we hold that area, we're going to look to see if we need to fine tune it all. We did flexion and extension, and then we can do side bending and rotation to fine tune that area to get the best position so that muscle relaxes and reduces the muscle spasm. Usually, as we're holding, we'll feel a release. Sometimes it's in a form of heat, sometimes it's Sometimes the muscle just softens under our finger, and sometimes the patient just takes a nice deep breath, usually in about 90 seconds. Once that muscle is released, then we passively take the patient back out of that position, and the patient does not help so that we're not re-engaging those muscles, we let them relax, and then we retest. We check to see that that muscle now is less tender, hopefully down to a zero. Typically we talked about orthopedically treating for about 90 seconds. When I have a patient that comes in who has maybe a stroke and neurological dysfunction and they have some contracture, typically we'll hold it for up to three minutes. And when we hold that tender point in a position of passive going into the barrier, or going away from the barrier, excuse me, we can shut that nervous system off. And then when you're done, you bring that joint back out of shortening and that contracture eases up. So a very um, effective way of treating stroke patients. If you'd like to learn more about um, position release therapy, please sign up for our free newsletter or read our blogs. Thank you.